hey guys, back again from where we left off. So, just a new quick use for the inverter. And that could be used with press pads and things. So that's open, so someone could think, oh look, I can go through. Step on it and close it straight in front of me. Obviously, temporarily, there are ways around that. You could put like an RS no latch, which I will also showcase later. But anyway, yes, say this was the room someone wants to get into. Um, this is the combination lock I showed you last time. So, remember to watch that video. If this helps you, please put a uh, thumbs up. It really helps me in return. So anyway, combination lock. Because, uh, look, it's definitely all these ones, which I know are wrong. I'll let you know that now. Nothing happens. But when I click all the right ones, it's just every other one starting from this switch here. That one. They're open. If I have even one switch wrong, you can't open because it's got a slight power source still. It's programmed really special way. But that's pretty much it. Um, what else is that? Ah, yes, I'll show you how to make lights now, which is what I, I find useful. I don't know if anyone else will. So, um, I don't know. I have something about this eye up. Um, this burns in close in a second. So, um, this needs to be one longer. Um, piece of close down there. And then just push. Put it in there, link it down to where, well, wherever you want it to be linked to. To wherever you want the actual switch. Obviously, remember, if you were doing this, you'd do it inside of a room. I'm just doing it as example purposes. Um, need to put a lever and get a second. Um, say closed. Open closed. Simple little light. Easy to make. I'm watching it. I'll show you a carpet bomb next, they're quite fun. Simple to make and very fun. So it's burnt in TNT. This works better on a normal world, but. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> so, um. That's a bit of Me and Kieran were doing these yesterday. It's. Kinda funny. I'm just gonna make a small one for now. I know you guys think it's a big one, but it's quite late at the time recording this. So I thought I'd just make a little one. Show it off and then I'm off for the night. I've got some, you know, things to do. Have a social life surprisingly. That'll probably shock most of you. After hearing the, hear the discussions me and Kieran have, and I think I've, yes, I've done this wrong game yet. <sighs> it's late at night, so uh, forgive me. There you go, simple carpet bomb. 3x3 three three carpet bomb. And then uh, you send a redstone circuit on the top. The good thing about these is that they're basically they're, they're refillable. So, I link all these TNT up with redstone. So basically, you use a circuit, like a massive circuit around it. Like this. Obviously, you can have it as big as you want it. Uh, you may need repeaters if you make it massive. And then you link it to your detonation switch. So I'm going to make a detonation switch just decide you could put it anywhere. Flick it, drops the TNT. TNT blows up. And then, turn switch off. Refill. And the fortune you see, I could also set, I will set it up so I could do this. Could do this. Carpet bomb is so easy to use, so easy to make, and they're infinite, so. Easy to destroy things. I am on 
to do flat world, so yeah, it's kind of small. But I, mean, I could also link it up to something else. I could link it up to, I don't know, pistons. Things and that's it. Uh, see, ya, I'm going to bed now.